Welcome everybody. I want to do a quick little uh, tip set video here um, with working with medians in the centroid. So if you remember, if you have a median here, so and then we have another one here. So these two segments are congruent, these two segments are congruent, these are congruent. So if we try name this ABC and XY. Z. And we have this point here is the centroid. So we're going to call this P. So if you're looking at this, well, we came up with some formulas in our notes, and it was BP is two thirds of BZ. And we also had that um, PZ is one third of BZ. And we also had one other one where BP was also equal to 2 times PZ. Now, in an effort to make this a little bit easier, if we call this BP, if we call that the long piece, and PZ, we call that the short piece, and then BZ, we could call that the whole. We can come up with a few equations that are going to make things a little bit easier. So, this would be the long, this would be short, and then the entire piece would be the whole. So we have a couple of these. I'm going to run the list down. So the long is equal to two thirds times the whole. The short is equal to the whole divided by 3. The whole is also equal to 3 times the short. The long is equal to 2 times the short. The short could be equal to the long divided by 2, and the whole could be equal to 3 halves times the long. So those are six possibilities. So you have to look at what you're given, in, which is exactly what we're going to look at in this next part. So taking a look here, this is asking us to find JB, which is the whole. If UB, UB is the short. So we have to look to see what from our list deals with finding the whole dealing with the short. And if you notice, that is this one. Sorry, I'm incorrect here. The whole is this one. So JB will equal 3 times UB. So JB equals 3 times 17.2. And 17.2 times 3 is 51.6. Now, if we continue working, we're looking at XU. XU is the long. UQ is the short. So how can we figure out the long if we know the short? So we're looking long will equal 2 times the short. So long equals 2 times the short. So xu equals 2 times uq, which is 3 in this case. So xu will equal 6. And we'll check out uh, this one here. pk. Check it number 4. So pk is the whole. PF is the long. So how can we find the whole if we know the long? So the whole is 3 halves of the long. So PK is 3 over 2 times 12. So we can crisscross this. This is going to be 1. 2 goes into 12 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18. So PK is 18.
and find hx if hv is 36. So hx is the long, hv is the whole. So how do we find the long if we know the whole? The long is two-thirds of the whole, so hx equals two-thirds of 36. So 3 goes into itself once and into 36 12 times. So hx, 2 times 12 is 24. So if you use those patterns, that will help you a lot, and you'll be able to do these much more quickly, I believe, and hopefully it will make more sense. So if you make a nice little chart like this right here and set it up, you should be in good shape, and it will help you, especially on the quiz, which is coming up.